Voyager 2 is really far out there currently Voyager 2 is about 11 billion miles from the Earth, and has been traveling at speeds of tens of thousands of miles per hour since its launch in 1977. With no air resistance, the plucky little spacecraft will maintain that speed as it cruises through the galaxy for eons to come. But before we discuss the ultimate fate of the twin voyagers, let's define the boundary of the solar system. The Sun constantly emits a drizzle of tiny, charged particles known as the solar wind. This solar wind sleets through space for billions of miles in all directions, but eventually it meets up with the general mix of particles that are just hanging around in interstellar space. This mix of particles is generally colder and denser than the particles emitted by the Sun. The boundary between particles from the Sun and particles from who knows where is called the heliopause, and our bubble inside of that is called the heliosphere. Yes, there are objects beyond the heliopause that orbit the Sun, the Oort cloud, a shell of icy debris left over from the formation of the solar system, orbits in cold silence up to a light year away from the Sun, well beyond the limits of the heliosphere. But besides occasionally lobbing comets at us, the Oort cloud doesn't really bother anybody, and is so tenuously connected to the Sun, that it hardly even counts as a boundary. To give you some perspective, it will take another 300 years before the voyagers reach the inner edge of the Oort cloud. Despite their advanced age, both voyagers are still kicking, dutifully recording data and sending it back to Earth, although since their power supplies are so low, we only get a trickle of information from their sensors. And what they report back is, interesting. The Voyager mission scientists have spent the past year analyzing Voyager 2's data, and recently published their findings in a series of five papers. The new results confirm what they suspected from the earlier results of Voyager 1. The boundary between our solar system and interstellar space is a complex, ever-shifting tangle of particles, as the steam emitted from our sun mixes and mingles with whatever the galaxy is throwing at us today.